Okay, so my, my aim here was not to show you how to use Moodle. My aim here was not to um, show you what Moodle is going to look like when we kick over to 2.9. My aim here effectively was to show you what opportunities 2.9 actually provides us as educators. So I've actually created a Moodle 2.9 site on my own server. So I'm fairly sure that when uh, Griffith College kicks in their 2.9 version next year, it'll look completely different, but yet all the same functionality will be there. So I've created a very simple site. Yeah, let's see what logs in. So this is a uh, this is probably what our you know learning at at Griffith College would actually probably look something like this. I guess it'd all be themed and all be looking uh, very red and Griffith College-ish. So this bit down the side here probably looks familiar because it looks very similar to what we currently have in our Moodle now, where we have our courses and we have them all listed there. So I've just created a very basic um, like page. I haven't really done much on it really, but what I've done is I've actually created a um, activity that I thought was really, uh, really inspiring in 2.9. So I thought I would uh, show you all to it, show you all about it. So um, like usual, we've got to turn editing on button, and we can edit all these various things. So there's a news forum, which is fairly standard. We have that now. There's also this, also this chat, which is a um, a synchronous chat mechanism that you can create so you can say hey at this time on this day we're going to all have a chat you can create it and you can actually um, chat at a particular time point in time but what I want to look at is I want to look at this concept here which is um, listed in here this is actually what we call lesson so in our current Moodle we have two drop down boxes one for activities one for resources um, this is all combined in one complete menu now um, and this is the default installation, so I'm sure that when our installation, when we get our Gr Griffith College one, we'll have a few more things on here because there are a few extra things that people have already asked to have included, so there'll be a few more things added on here then at that particular point in time. But what I want to show you is, so these are all the add-ons, or the plugins. So if we just go back to here. If you go to the Moodle site, so moodle.org, you'll actually see that down here you've got setting up and you've got this little link here called plugins. So if you go to plugins, there's all these like different plugins you can get. It's category, they're all categorized. So there's activities, available, con availability conditions, blocks, which allow you to put different components into your page, course formats, user tools, themes, reports, gradebook plugins. Um, down here to the plagiarism one, so even in here there's a Turnitin plugin which I think is going to be part of our new system. I think it's on the definitely on the high up there to include into our version of our Moodle 2.9. So there's a whole heap of plugins in here, so I'd recommend, you know, have a look at them, see if there's anything that you think you'd like in our new version of Moodle, and uh, by all means uh, talk to Aaron about um, whether there's a good case to have it included. So if I go back here, what I want to show you is this this lesson that I created. Okay, so I'll turn it turn the editing off. And basically, what this this lesson allows us to do, because we're probably all very familiar with the way the portal looks now. It's a very one dimensional page. It's basically just a page with maybe a couple of links here and there, and probably a bit of a. It's basically just a web page that provides resources and probably might have a quiz or a few activities on there as well. But what I wanted to show you here is this this concept that adds an extra dimension to the whole learning experience on on uh, Moodle. So what I've done here is I've actually created this uh, this lesson. It's about describing mathematics and text because um, Moodle 2.9 actually allows you to put mathematical equations directly in it, like I have down here. Okay, Put mathematical equations directly into your uh, page simply by using text notation, and text is a very common notation that's used in many programming languages as well as many uh, documenting languages as well as you know a lot of web-based applications as well so what I've done is I've created a lesson on basically teaching how to use how to describe mathematics using text and I basically did this as a 
entry thing because of what I what I ultimately intended to do was try and create a mechanism to allow students to actually enter quite complex mathematical um, working. So instead of just a lot of the competency based, yes, you got it right, no, you didn't kind of tasks, we can actually get them to do pretty much like write an essay effectively using text notation that then translates into a series of equations that we can then mark as as uh, mathematical educators. So we begin the lesson. So what I've got here is the like first page of that is like a basics of text notation. So what I've actually got here, and it, this this is a work in progress, so it's uh, it's not quite complete. And so what's going to sit here with this picture here is is actually an embedded video. And uh, as soon as I can get access to the green room, I was going to record a video and actually put it there. And basically, the lecture slides for that video are down here. So that sort of uh, helps the people who you know don't necessarily want to watch the video; they just want to get the gist of the concept, so they can just go to the actual. Uh, PDF. So down the bottom here, you've got next. So you go on to next, and what I've got here is I've simply got a task that I want them to do. So I want them to go and, you know, using text notation, describe the following polynomial. So therefore, they then describe this using text notation. Okay, so I'll put it in. Probably get it wrong the first time, as I usually do. Okay, I've actually got it right. So, so you get it correct, and it says allows you to continue. The alternative to this, if I got it wrong, which I thought I had, but obviously I didn't, if you get it wrong, it will then uh, give you an option to basically uh, have another go. So it gives you two buttons, have another go, or go back and watch the video. So it then either gives them two pathways they can go from this, this if they got it wrong. So I've got it right, so I'll continue on. So then what we're doing is we're then... You know, having another go. So describe this one using text notation. So fx equals backslash frac. And that's x plus 4, x caret 4 plus x caret 2 minus 10. Right, so I'll submit that, and it says I got that uh, that incorrect. Okay, and I did I made a mistake on it in a spot there. So it says incorrect. So maybe you should use the frac. Review the mini lecture to see how it is used. So this one here, I'll just put that continue. So it continue back. Continue it makes me continue with it again and again and again. All right. So what I want, what I want to show you is like, I don't want to go through this whole process, but if I just show you the process that goes through it, so I have, you know, I have the introductory page, I have the basics of text notation page, which had the video on it, I had describing polynomials in text notation, I had describing the rational polynomial, which is the one we just did, and then we've got this page here, which is text notation, uh, the next level. So this is a, another video, another. Um, PDF and of course when we go from that we jump to the next page and the next page is Let's go back uh, Let's preview so So that's where we were let's go back to the so Basically, that we've got that video. The next notation was another embedded video, another thing, and then when they click next, it's onto the basically the ultimate goal page. And basically, what I wanted to do with this, and this is in edit mode, so it's not going to allow me to actually enter it. But this is basically an essay, and I basically said using text notation as a means to show you're working. Evaluate the derivative of the following function. So this is uh, we do something like a product rule to evaluate that. So basically, what this requires them to do. So if I was to actually preview that. Hang on, sorry, it's gone to the wrong one. If I just go back, ultimate goal. Preview that one. Just no. Sorry, it's going to preview the whole lot. All right, let's just do this again. So if we go to the ultimate goal, it's basically an essay. So I've created it as an essay. And what I actually get in the end, because I've actually done this before. So I've got a, a fake student here called I am a student. And basically, 
when they do their essay, it's attached here. So I can see that um, the student has done it, uh, has basically got all those um, competency-based questions right. So he's got two of those right. So he's got 66% um, and then he's got this uh, um, essay. So let's look at uh, this is graded essays. So his essay, so it's my essay. So this is effectively what it looks like. So you can see quite nicely that um, it's one mathematical expression that goes all the way down. Okay, and then I can provide my comments. I can give the score. You know, I've only set it to be either competency or incompetent, so it's one or zero, and and then you can actually then you know say the changes and they get their score overall for the event so so this is a, a lesson where it not only contains embedded video and a pathway that they've got to sort of go the hoops are got to go through in order to achieve this this accomplishment so it's got um so these videos got tasks once they can a competency based task so once they're competent in those areas they then move on to the next video which then introduces some other concepts to them and then they have you know a series of other quizzes that they then go through and then another video maybe that then that then ultimately ends up in them writing like an essay or or having a reflective piece or something like that in this case it's like calculate a, a mathematical expression and show all you're working and then by using text notation it renders it all lovely so you can actually then say hey look i can see you're working oh look i can see you made a mistake on the third line which gave you the wrong answer or something like that so so it's a really good uh mechanism now for not just giving um having summative assessment but also formative assessment that you can then uh give our responses and comments to so i just thought i'd introduce that to you because this is something i just had a, a tinker with when i installed moodle 2.9 i just had a quick play and i saw this concept called a lesson and then i built up so wanted to see exactly what you could do with that and i think if, if you can do it with mathematics then then uh, um there's probably a, a lot of easy domains where you could do even more exciting things. So I just thought I'd int introduce that to you and just let you know that moving to Moodle 2.9 provides an opportunity to, to rework, rethink our, our virtual learning environments so we can make it a more engaging, more exciting experience for our students.